What's up guys, I Gorilla Team here, back with another video, and today I will be ranking all the summer 2020 sets. So guys, in this wave, I think we have seven or eight, something like that, sets, um, and yeah, I'm going from least to greatest in the sets, um, and it's my personal opinion, so let's get started. Also guys, they're all gonna be Star Wars, I forgot to say that. Guys, so starting off, this is discluding the advent calendar because I don't count that. But first off is General Grievous's Starfighter. This thing was honestly overpriced at 487 pieces. Uh, yeah, 487 pieces, and it's worth $80. Well, that's what it's selling for. I think that is kind of ridiculous. Also, a lot of people thought it was going to be Commander Cody, but we got an Airborne Trooper, which is still really nice, but a lot of people were hoping for Commander Cody. Then, um, we got General Grievous. Some people wanted to be beige. I think the gray and white combo is just fine, but if you wanted it to be tan, that's also bad for you. Then also, the worst thing was they added... Obi-Wan Kenobi, but what version of him? The Mustafar version. If you didn't know, from episode 3, uh, when they're fighting in the lava planet called Mustafar, Anakin and Obi-Wan are, they get ashes and cuts on them, and there was a set based on that where they had that, and that was fantastic. But then they decided to put it in the Starfighter set, which that scene happens before that, so it's not correct, so I don't know why they did that. But otherwise, the build is awesome. I would say this set should be 55 to 60, not 80. I think that is kind of outrageous. But yeah, that is my least favorite. Now, to the next one. Anakin Starfighter. Another thing they messed up on here, which I really didn't like, was they added the Mustafar version of Anakin. Like, come on. And then also, we don't need another Anakin Starfighter. Like, we have had a lot of those, I think, like, five or six, like, too many, and it was only been, like, two years since the previous one. Like, you could still maybe find it on shelves, so, like, it wasn't necessary. Plus, you get the figurine that's incorrect, so, yeah, those are the, like, two least. Now to the next one. So, guys, my next one is the Resistance IST Transport or something like that. I do not particularly like this set. Like, the figures are unrecognizable unless you go to the Disney um, ride. So, that's why I didn't like it. The build is pretty solid, according to the people who have gotten it and reviewed it. But, like, I don't think many people know of that ship yet. So, I just didn't think that was necessary but yeah so that one goes in that spot next one on the list guys is gonna be the knights of ren transport i have no grudge against this set or anything you also get final two knights of ren which is really nice but like i don't really like the new um three trilogy so it's not gonna be a set i was gonna pick up i mean if it ever gets on clearance for like good like $45 or something right now it's 70 um then I might pick it up but yeah it's a good set I don't know I just put it here because I was not that interested in it next up is an interesting one it's the Death Star Final Duel it was kind of like a remake of an old set like a re-release and they switched a few things I really like this set it's pretty cool we got Emperor Palpatine the two guards uh, Darth Vader with printing on the arms, which is really nice, and Luke Skywalker. It recreates the awesome scene from Episode 6 where Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker are fighting in the Death Star while Emperor Palpatine's in his chair. I think they represent this awesomely. Like, it's great. It has so many play features for $100.00. It is just the nice. They put it right in the sweet spot. This is a very fantastic set to get, guys. And that's why I have placed it here. Next up, guys, we have the at -AT. It is the best at, -AT they have ever released by far. This one is 
magnificent, guys. It is just the pitch perfect. I don't know. It looks like an AT-AT -AT and everything, the color scheme and the figure selection. It is an awesome set for $160, I believe. If you wanted to buy a bigger set that you've been saving up for, this would be the one to grab for LEGO Star Wars. Guys, I don't know. This one is a nice set. So the next one is gonna be the Razor Quest from The Mandalorian. It recreates the classic, soon to be classic, Mandalorian's ship. It is fantastic. Comes with Baby Yoda, the Mandalorian, uh, this guy in Carbonite, a whole bunch of stuff, guys. And it's another big set. This one might even be better. Well, it is better to pick up than the ATAT. -AT. It recreates it so well. And it's an Amazon exclusive. I forgot to mention that. But that is a must grab if you are a fan of Star Wars or the Mandalorian. Alright, the one right before the big one, which is kind of obvious, but AAT, a very controversial grab. It has Ahsoka, the 42nd Trooper, two battle droids, and the reason why some people don't like this is it doesn't have the stripe like in the Clone Wars thing, or it also has a super duper long cannon. Yes, that is kind of annoying in some cases, but I am just loving Clone Wars right now and loving the Clone Wars sets that came out. And I'm not going to hold a grudge against this set. I mean, come on, Ahsoka and a 42nd Trooper? That does not happen every day. So this is definitely a pickup grab for me. Now, number one, if you have not seen this coming, but... I think most of you have the 501st Battle Pack. A two-year campaign. Finally, the set is coming out. Which it should have come out a long time ago. But it's finally here, guys. With four 501st Troopers. Well, three and one Jet Pack Trooper. And two Battle Droids. This is the set to pick up. You should pick up five, ten, how many you want. Even a hundred if you have that type of money, guys. This is the set. Well, if you're Clone Wars or love Star Wars, this is the set. Guys, this is my number one pick. If you don't like it, well then, I don't know. It was just my opinion. But that was the list, guys. What do you think? What is going to be your favorite set? Or what sets are you going to pick up? Remember to comment that in the comments below, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, notification bell. Do all that. See you guys next time. Peace out.